make up an offer. <laughs> Close in prayer, uh, but I just want to give out a few announcements. Is Jessica here? Jessica, just this is a young lady. She's, uh, and I'm not going to have you share your story, but this is someone who's been, who has complaints against the TPD, and who's been a victim uh, of discrimination. And she's here because she's crying out for help. And we just want her to know that this is a safe space, and we want you to get with. Uh, some of the task force members. If you have a story, if you have a complaint, raise your hand, task force members. We want you to get with them at the end of this. Anybody in this room, if you know of anybody, get this form, fill it out, pass it out to them. We'll be around. If the community, if you have questions, get with the people on the dais, get with the community leaders. We'll answer your questions. Uh, and uh, we're going to be back in the next 30, 60, 90 days, making sure that we track our progress. Again, this isn't just a, a moment, this is a movement, and uh, we're gonna be consistent, and we're gonna keep pushing, we're gonna keep fighting, and we're gonna do it all together. And, and so I want you all to know that you have the power, and that the Terrence Crutcher Foundation, we're gonna be the juggernaut when it comes to dismantling the culture of the police department, the current culture, and building it back up so we'll feel safe in our community. So I just want to say thank you uh, to each and every one of you. Thank you for your support. Again, I want to honor my parents, Reverend Joey and Leanna Fletcher. Stand up, stand up, stand up. They know everybody, and it's all about the fight. It's all about the cause, and uh, and I just love them so much. And so, um, if you would wish to volunteer and be a part of the foundation and, and help us, because uh, we're growing, uh, we're going to be building. You'll you'll uh, you know be informed of all of the initiatives that we're going to be rolling out in the upcoming year. We're going to be giving away scholarships and uh, uh, doing things for um, uh, people who's been in prison and they're out and they still feel like there's no hope because they can't vote, they can't get a job, and we're going to be that, that space for second chances to get them back on their feet. And we're not going to allow their past to dictate their future or uh, allow people to say, you don't matter. We're going to show them that there's a purpose for their yes, life and there's yes, people in here yes. that's dealt with that and, um, and so we're not going to let our struggles uh, just keep us from living. So I, again, I appreciate everybody that came out. I'm going to let uh, Councilwoman Harper just give a few closing remarks, and then we'll end after that with prayer from uh, one of my pastors and spiritual mothers um, to just pray.